Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 23 and 24 of Magical Girl Lyrical Nana Hush Strikers. Yeah, I'm doing this the day before. Um, as I said in the tweet, or not the tweet, <laughs> round thing, the post, um, if you have not heard, uh, there's a lot of things going on in my lovely state. Um... To the point that today, for me and my mom, it was ultimately chaos. And we had to go out and go do a whole bunch of things. And I literally just got home about an hour or two ago. And I'm just now doing this. And then plus, I have to do both stuff from Saturday. I'm going to say Saturday. Stuff from today and yesterday. So I'm trying to get this done. And then I think everything from Friday and Thursday, I'm just going to have to do when I come home because we're going out for part two or round two tomorrow, which is going to be worse because, of course, you know, it's the weekend and everybody and their grandma is going to be trying to go to the stores to get everything. But with what the heck is going on currently, um, it's just going to get worse for me. That's all I can tell you. If you if you don't know, I would literally either go on Twitter or even TikTok, or just look up Florida and see what the fuck is going on with our lovely little state. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 23. And three, two, one, go. I wish my dog closed the door, but <laughs> he did. Like, I was all gung-ho to watch this Thursday night. And we went to go get dinner. I came home. I ate said dinner, and I went right to sleep. And then I woke up at, like, 4 in the morning, changed into my PJs, and went back to sleep. Like, <laughs> to the point that it wasn't even funny. And then I didn't wake up again until about oh, 10 o'clock. And I was like, okay, I need to kind of get ready and get it's done. And all these other things were coming out. And I was like, okay, we need to go to the store. Yeah. Complicated. Basically, yeah.
But there's no way. But, you know, due to anime standards, she probably survived. Yeah. Duh. She just really OP. Might as well just stay where you are because you can't do it. Because when you're married to the job, the job comes first. Of course, it ain't going to be that easy. It's never that easy! He did it. Mm. I must all. I don't want this. This is like Sailor Moon all over again.
she just looks very similar to Nana right there. Yeah, but if we stop her, that means killing the child, and I don't want that. I feel like she is not going to last that much longer. I mean, she already got hurt pretty badly and she can't run. So the numbers and the odds are against her. And once again, I wish they would hurry up and break that damn barrier so that someone can help her out. But seriously, just the way she's looking, it just looks like she's on her final limit. Like, she, I feel like, yeah, she'll survive, but... She's going to be very damaged. Great. Say fi final, 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 final. No, don't say that. And see, it's worse because it's three against one. The one time I don't want a freaking eye catch.
Aww. All right, they're not normal, but you're still special. The fact that your bodies aren't normal is what makes you special. You don't have to be like everyone else. But we know that's a lie. Not anymore. fact that she just threw her like she was nothing, like a damn red dog. Jesus. No, don't say that. That's right. The fact that her gear can do something while she is somewhat knocked out for a moment. That's godlike right there. Oh, got to you too, huh? Can't go anywhere now. There we go. There we go. Now, finally, somebody come in and help Tia. You ain't got to save her, but at least help her. 
Because this three on one BS is so messed up. She needs no help. She handled all three on her own. Grab and just give up. I mean, damn. Two of your people is down, so why are you trying? Oh, this hurts. Oh my god. I don't want to watch this. I, they might both end up really killing each other. See, oh, damn. See, right there, as I was trying to say, that would be a perfect moment to end the episode and be like, yes, mm, wait till next week. But if they actually did that, I would have been peeved. <laughs> Excuse me. See, you say that, and the next thing you know, we go down there and we see blood. Mm. They still have to take you in. Put you under us and everything else too, but there could be some good out of it. He has none. Oh, okay. All right. There's a perfect way to end it. Okay. So I would like to say what part two of our little, our precious baby girl sisters battle, like yeah, especially with Jenny. Um, once again, an emotional battle. Ask. I mean, you know, think think about it. Well, no, because I'm thinking more. I'm about to go save him and ask, but I can't. I can't put that. I'm, that's more of Nanaha. And Vivio right now, even though we haven't seen it much of it. But think of any anime where you've had to put siblings against each other. And usually, like I said, it is the most heartbreaking moment of the show or the series because of the fact is if you okay, no, here I'll give you the best way. If any of you have seen um Penguin Drum, 
and the situation on that show, and you have two brothers who truly love and care for their sister, and in order to have her feel better, because I'm trying to do this without spoiling the show, uh, once again, I really recommend that-ish, they both go down two different paths of trying to save her. One is the wrong path, and one is the right path, like good and evil, uh, black and white and such. But in the end, the story of them is truly sad. I, I can't go in depth on it because it's it's a lot of spoilers. Like, heck, I haven't even seen the new movie for it. And I'm wondering how that is supposed to be canon with the original series, but who freaking knows. But there have been moments in that series with the two brothers arguing each other down, being like, my way is the right way, yours not. Um, and it hurts. It really, truly hurts because one is just this kind, sweet, gentle boy and the other one, the older one, is a bad boy type. I mean, of course, yeah. Th you're always going to see that in a brother-sister sibling rivalry or friendship, or whatever, or brother-brother, sister-sister, brother and sister, whatever. You're going to see that and such where it's like the older one is the much cooler one, much more mature one. And secretly, they are the darker one, while the younger one is the kind, sweet, gentler one and doesn't want anything to happen. But when the older one eventually lashes out on the younger one, and usually in the end, the younger one has to do something to save the older one, it the emotional impact is just like, it's there <laughs> in a nutshell. So it truly hurts. Like, I, I haven't watched Pinga Drum since I did a reaction to it for Patreons as a series, but do I kind of want to watch it again? Yeah, in a heartbeat. I mean, just to, like, go into those feelings again, because it's a very, it's a very emotional journey, let's say that. So I'll, I'll just say once again, emotional journey part two. Now for Vivio and Nanoha, and Nanoha, I mean, Vivio, um, getting corrupt, by this other character and such and saying like, oh, hey, that woman right there, aka Nanoha, that's not your mama. That's just someone, you know, using the facade of your mama. I don't like the fact that these two are fighting. Like, that gives me hella Sailor Moon vibes with Usagi and Chibiusa when Chibiusa turned into Black Lady and such and how that was also an emotional roller coaster. For Chibiusa and such, even though we ain't gonna talk about all that stuff. But if you, if you seen season, it's season two, right? Yeah, yeah. If you seen Sailor Moon R, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It, it just everything. If you haven't seen it, or if you have not read the manga, go read that ish. Go watch that ish because just it, it's nuts. Even so many years later. And if I sit and rewatch anything of R and having Chibi, <laughs> having Chibi use that in the picture, and, and I'm just like, ma'am, what? <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 24. Alrighty, episode 24 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, my baby. Yeah. Why does this episode kind of, just the preview of it? It just deadly. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Because I was like, oh, this feels very recap. -ish. Oh, like, oh. Like, I don't want my kids to be like this. That hurt. Oh my god. Damn it. No.
Our mommies just want the best thing for the kids. There's only one. Oh my god. Ugh. Mm -hmm. I'm good, sleepy. One more hour. One more hour, and then, well, no. I can't even say one more hour because of the fact is I still have to sit around and wait for everything to edit. So, let's say two more hours, yeah, and then I can kind of go to sleep. After uploading two. Yeah. <laughs> You say that. Everyone says that, but. And this is when everything just goes to crap. Hey. Mm hmm Oh, God. Great. And they're surrounded. Just even greater. Of course, yeah. AKA the little girl that he technically kind of worked. Yeah, 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 
yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, we really shouldn't be surprised about that. The fact is, he got no hearsay. I thought dude was going to kill him. Oh. Of course he was. Everybody technically was. All y'all was pawns to the fucking doctor. Ain't it also funny how in the previous episode I said if there's blood, we're gonna have a problem? Well, there's blood. We have a problem. Oh, dang. She, she got sad too. <laughs> kind of. No, you didn't do it! You may have f to her up, but you didn't do anything to him. But because you are the only one who's left alive, yes, they're going to place it on you. Or he's going to place it on upon himself. Oh, stand your ground, baby.
I never thought this was going to happen, but okay. I ain't mad at it. You would also think in the moment that Keto would go hug Lou, but because Lou is just so hot-headed right now. Hey, time out! Nah, can we? No, 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 no. the blood tears just as much as you're crying right now Um. Oh, be careful. Oh, no, no. I mean, sir, hold on. You do know there are other people who can stop the creations and the, the cradle was authority. So, I mean, all the, all you do is just talking.
once again, he is an asshole. I'm sorry. Like, mm -mm. Exactly. You're always wrong. No one else did. That's okay. To you. And of course, the biggest thing is she's not going to give him what he wants. Okay, now, let's just focus on back on Vivial and Nanoha. We have two episodes left for next week. Wouldn't that be nice? A fresh start. You wouldn't be stuck somewhere for the rest of your life wondering, why did I do this?
funny that, you know, in the end, number four, it, the true villain, duh. The true villain impregnated with the doctor sperm. What the heck? <laughs> this, this show sometimes. Oh, God. And, of course, the last two episodes are going to all be about the cradle because, of course, why else not do it with these other two episodes? Okay. This too much, and the, the finale of this is next week. I don't know how I'm truly really going to feel after this, but I will say, as of right now, like, we, we, we did it. We really did it, even though, like, we ain't in the final episode, but still. Um... We'll be done with this next week, which is really weird to say. Be I never would have thought, like, really, because especially with the times of me being busy and having to pause, because, like, even with this, uh, with this week, especially with what is going on in my lovely estate, um, and because I was, a lot of things I had to do today, and coming home late and being tired from doing everything that I had to do, I didn't know if I was going to be able to record this, and I was like, I don't really want to do another week of trying to postpone, but I might have to and such. And I know some of you would have understood, but there is sometimes a small amount of people, I won't say all, so this could be Patreon and non-Patreons, that do get upset when I don't upload something. And so I will say this to the bottom of my heart, to people who are, who do wait patiently, like, once again, thank you so freaking much. It means the world to me that you guys are able to wait patiently and stuff if something happens, whether I get sick or my mom gets sick and I have to take care of her or just anything that you guys are really sweet and genuine and kind to wait for something because sometimes you, you don't really get that out there and it truly sucks. But this episode was good. Thank you did good, baby. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you and your children. You did damn well good. I'm just not ready to see these last two episodes. And see, it's going to be really weird because of the fact is um, how when I finished the movies, the deal was like, uh, or originally at the time, I was only supposed to react to the movies. Then the person who requested the movies wanted me to watch this. Um, and I was thinking, like, probably after this, like, I think we would, we would have been done with Nanoha for, like, a while, but, um, they want me to continue. But the plan is, because someone really got ahead of them first, Nanoha, after these next two episodes, will be placed on the back burner up until, um, one of the next two shows that I watch next end. So that could be Saki Season. Well, we can't even say Saki Season Part 2. Um, when Saki is either completely over or when the next show I'm about to watch after this show is completely over because I don't even know how many, uh, I think the show is like 25 episodes from two seasons and such, but you made me cry. You made me cry. I was going into this episode thinking I was not going to cry, that everything was going to be all right, but just seeing fate and because I love fate so much. And because, once again, this show just starts too freaking pretty here. <laughs> From two different series. But because Fate is best girl, like, anything that happens to her is just, like, emotional as fuck. Like, no, no, I love you. I will always love you. And you are still a, a personal fave magical girl of mine and such. But it's just something about Precious Baby Girl Fate and her story that is so impacting and very connecting in a way even if you don't connect on some of the things that fate has done but when you see how her how tragic her story is and how in the end she turned her life around and she was able to take two kids who had a very rough start in their life and was able to change their lives for the better that they can call her mom but they don't call fate mom they just call it fate and that, you know, no matter what, the three of them will always be together like this. Like, it, it just amazes me. And I love that so freaking much. But, yeah, I don't want to, I'm not ready for next week. That's all. Vivio versus Naha, no, I will never be ready. Regardless. I don't care what I say. 
But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes 23 and 24 of Magical Girl, Little Girl, and Unreal High Strikers. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for the final two episodes. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!